Can you re-engineer a puff? Hello, I'm back. Let's look at the parts that make up a puff pickup. The early puff pickup had, I don't know if you can say that, a Peter the Ply Force sticker, it could have been anywhere around here. The later versions had a Peter number. Then that Peter number went to an embossed version in the metal. I don't know if you can say that. All these plates are practically identical. There's very subtle changes in them. The covers had nice corners, so you can see them. The screw side had six screws like this. The slug side had six slugs like this. The magnet was a rough cast magnet. You can see the texture of that. That's basically the uh, metal is being poured straight in the green sand and that's straight out the mould. Very little done to it. You would have a maple splice. That's for the maple lad. And a keeper bar. And one of the important features is, if you look at this, these bobbins, uh, these are generic bobbins, probably using 90% 90, 90 of the pickups that's made today. Now listen to the chime of this plastic. It's quite bright. And the Bruterite, which is the original old bobbin, can hardly hear it. it's got a real dull tone about it and they were wired with this braided wire the outsides earth and the insides the hookup wire pretty well bomb proof this stuff but basically there's not a lot there so that's the sum and total of the parts that create the needed to create the pickup and four phillips screws all hold it together uh, the next part, we'll, we'll, let's look at some photos of like parts being wound and stuff like that. Right, y'all. Thank you.